Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. Just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to roll over your file at year end. So, um, if I go into the My Business Details page, um, you can see that the ledger details uh, has a financial year start and end date. Now, the software will let you enter transactions outside of that um, date range and that's no problem. So um, first thing I want to say is you actually don't have to do this process at all. Um, you can just continue on. I suspect that if you have a large volume of transactions, um, at some point things could start to become slow. Um, but um, it still works. Um, although I do recommend you do this process because um, it will just help keep things tidy. Um, so um, to do this process, and in fact, just before we do it, let's have a quick look at what's in this file. Um, if we go to the sales worksheet um, and just change the dates, you can see we've got um, some transactions prior to 30 June 2022 and a transaction in July and so that transaction will be in the new financial year these two transactions will be in the old financial year if we go to the batches for payroll you can see there's a bunch of trans of uh, transactions and, and batches um, prior to 30 June and then some that's after this is kind of normal so let's say um, you haven't really finished the prior financial year yet um, but you're already starting to enter transactions for the next financial year um, and that's uh, that's the way it often happens it'd be nice if you could just you know completely finish one year before you had to enter anything for the next year um, but sometimes that's just not the case so um, that's what's there before we open the new year um, and let's now open the new year so um, on my business details just click on that and next to this ledger details start and end date um, you can click open a new year um, over here we have an option for the new ledger dates the software has automatically added one year to the dates on the previous page so just check they are correct for your new financial year and um, and actually yep there's some um, instructions here as well um, to tell you what it's actually doing okay um, to summarize it's going to actually it's not actually going to change anything in the file at all it's going to create a new file for the new year and copy everything across except it's not going to copy the transactions prior to 30 June so let's see how that goes alright so um, it's taken me back to the menu page um, probably would have been nice if it had if it had given me a, a message um, to say that it's successfully completed um, but uh, what it's done is it's created the new file and it's put me into the new file um, let's have a look at the business list page um, so here is our previous file that I was working with um, where it says financial year end date 30 June 2022 and then it's created a new one for the new financial year so when you do this process you end up with two um, businesses let's say listed here uh, of course it's the same business same ABN but it's just um, yeah we call these things businesses in free accounting software so if we go into the um, um, new file and then click into the sales worksheet 
um, these dates are defaulting to the current month so I'm doing this video it's still actually June um, but if we change the date uh, we can see that um, the previous transactions that were in June 2022 are no longer there but we still have this uh, new transaction from that's in July okay if I go to the batches uh, we can see that all the June and prior um, batches are not there anymore but we still have the July ones that we've been working on now having a look at the previous um, file and um, first let's go to the sales worksheet change the date okay so we can see that the June transactions are still here and that July one is still there so this is the original file and it's just completely unchanged and in the batches it's the same thing so we've got our June um, payroll things and then the ones we've been working on in July are there as well so just to demonstrate there that the original file is unchanged um, but it does create a new file and removes that unneeded history so that things aren't so cluttered going forward okay well um, that's all there is to know about rolling over your file I think um, hope the video has been useful and thanks for watching